Hello everybody, it's Gemma here from Made by Gemma Crafts at Code UK. Thank you for joining me again today. Now, if you saw my blog post on Tuesday, you would have seen this card here that I entered into the Global Design Project. Uh, it was a colour challenge, so I had to stick within the colours of Pear Pizzazz, Paul Party and Cherry Cobbler. And I used my Painted Harvest stamp set to make the wreath on the front of my card. Now that made me think about the stamp set itself and how many different things we can do with it. So I thought I'd just put together a short video for you um, on stamping different things with your Painted Harvest stamp set. So here is one that I've used stamping the sunflower, which is what the set was probably intended to be stamped as. Um, my colour combination on here is Daffodil Delight, Peekaboo Peach and Soft Suede in the centre. So that's the Sunflower one. Again here I've made another little card with a wreath on it. This one I've stamped in Old Olive rather than Pear Pizzazz. And underneath here I've got this little guy which is my little hedgehog. Now I've seen a lot of cards made with the little hedgehog on the front so I thought I'd show you how I did mine. Now my little face on here is from the Cookie Cutter Christmas stamp set and I've used the bear face that comes in that set to put these little face on. So if I pop these cards out of the way I'm going to show you how I stamped my sunflower and my hedgehog. Just going to show you that on a piece of copy of paper and then finally we're going to put this little card here together. This one. I've got lots of ink and lots of things all over my desk so I am running out of a bit of space so I'm going to start with the sunflower so as I said I use Daffodil Light and Peekaboo Peach for my sunflower now in the set you've got two petal stamps you've got a bigger one and a smaller one the bigger one has got a hole in the middle so I'm going to start with that one so I'm going to open up the ink start with my Daffodil Delight as well. So, yeah, I'm going to take my biggest, bigger stamp, I'm going to ink that up and stamp that down. Give that a good squish. There we go. So as you'll see it's not quite perfect. Um, this set has got a watercolour effect so it's not going to be quite perfect. But what I do is I then ink up my big stamp again in the same colour and then I just rotate it about 90 degrees and stamp it down again on top so we get a bit of build up. So we've got, that is our Daffodil Delight layer. Now it does look a bit messy but once you put the second petal stamp on top it does come together so I'm going to ink this up with some peekaboo peach I'm just going to pop that down bit of a press and there we go a very badly lined up but you can see it's a sunflower now and if you want to you can repeat this smaller one as well again I just give it a little turn and pop it down like so now when the new Stamparatus, Stamparatus, whatever you want to call it, comes out, these lining up these two or three step stamp sets is going to be an absolute breeze. So I was lucky enough to get on the first lot of reservations, so mine should be arriving on or around the 1st of February. So as soon as it arrives I will be showing you exactly what it does. So, right, now we're going to do the middle, so I've got the round stamp from the set and I've got some soft suede ink I'm just going to pop that down in the middle and again I'm going to repeat that and just give it a little twist like so just to build that colour up a little bit more I mean you can use one of the darker ones but I quite like the soft suede in the middle it's uh, it's quite nice with the peekaboo peach and daffodil delight so that is our sunflower if I just clean my stamps off, I'm going to show you how to stamp the little hedgehog. There we go. 
go. So I'm going to keep my soft suede and I'm going to use that with some crumb cake to stamp my little hedgehog. So now on my card here, I just stamped him off the bottom of the cardstock. But if you're doing it on a bigger piece of cardstock, you can use a post-it note. So I'm going to just grab one of them and pop that down. Because you obviously you don't want to stamp the whole flower image. You just want a little bit of it. So I'm going to start with my bigger one again and I'm going to put that in my ink that up with some crumb cake. I hope I have put it in the crumb cake. Yeah. I should probably turn them around so I can see what they are. There we go. So I'm now going to pop this down and I'm just going to... So three quarters of the stamp is above the post-it note. So there's one layer. Again, I'm going to ink up in crumb cake again. Turn my stamp a little and pop that down again on top, like that. Now I'm going to use my smaller stamp again, and I'm this time in soft suede. And I'm just going to pop that down on top. Push down to layer that up. There we go. Now I'm going to use my little centre again. I'm going to use some crumb cake and pop that down to fill in the middle to make his little face. I'm going to do it again and twist like so. I mean, at the moment it doesn't look like very much, but I now have got the little face from the cookie cutter stamp set. If you don't have that, you can just draw it in with a pen or a pencil. And then I'm just going to put his face down in the middle. And there we go. He comes to life. And we've got our little hedgehog there. So, right, I'm going to close up these inks now because I'm going to make the little card for you with the wreath on the front. So let's just clean my stamps. And for the wreath, we actually only need the bigger leaf. Stamp. And then also in this set, excuse my arm, pick this up, we've got some like little dots. Now I'm going to use that to put in my little holly berries on my wreath, so I have that here. Now these are the bits that I'm going to need for my little card. Now this is a three and a half by three and a half card blank that I've got. And I've got a piece of the Quilted Christmas Designer Series paper as well. That's cut to three and a quarter by three and a quarter. My little piece that I'm going to stamp on for the front of the card is two and three quarters by two and three quarters. And then I've got a little half inch strip of Whisper White as well, which we're going to stamp our sentiment on for the front of our card. So now I'm going to use my old olive. And I'm going to ink up my larger petal stamp and just pop that down in the middle of my card like so and then I'm going to ink up again rotate and line that up like so so there we go we've got our basic wreath shape now so let's close the old olive and I'm going to use some real red now to stamp my little holly berries I'm just going to ink up my little dot, dotty stamp and just stamp randomly around the outside of my wreath, like so. And while I have got my real red open, I'm going to grab a little sentiment Ooh, come here. from the Oh What Fun stamp set. This says Merry Wishes, and I'm going to stamp that on my little strip of Whisper White. So these little cards are great for using up your scraps. You just need little tiny pieces of card. So I've got that stamp there. So let's close that before the fingers go in there. Now all I did for this sentiment is just snip off the ends to make a little banner. There we go. 
So there's our little banner. Right, let's grab my card blank. Oh my goodness, so much stuff on my desk today. There we go. So I've scored that down. Now I'm just going to stick this on the front of my card. Hopefully my Tombow will work. Yep. I left it open last night. It all got stuck. There you go. You can just add this to the front of your card. There we go. And then I'm going to use some dimensionals to stick on my little stamp square. So I'm going to put some on the back here. off of here. Oh, sorry if it sounds like World War Three going on down there. Nearly done. There we go, and I've got just pop that down in the middle of our card. Now I'm just gonna use a couple more dimensionals on the back of my banner just to fix that onto the front and then we will be done. There we go and just pop that on there like so. Now I've made quite a few of these little cards because I'm going to be doing a craft fair next weekend. So I was thinking that I can pop these in a nice little bag with a little bit of designer series paper on the top, make it look pretty. And there we go, I've got a little set of Christmas cards to sell on my stand. So thank you for joining me today again. Um, all the details of all the projects that I've used today will be on my blog and the link to that will be in the description box below. And I will be back again really soon. So thanks for watching again. Bye.